Southeast governor's delay to visit Tonobu over Namdekano's release is a signal that the Namdekano has been sacrificed for 2027. Hmm. In the context of the unfolding narrative surrounding the ongoing persecution of Mazen Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Organization Nikbo find it imperative to issue this press release regarding the palpable negligences and lack of responsiveness demonstrated by our Southeast governors. The recent decision by Justice Binta Inyako to rescue herself from Kanu's trial has highlighted not only judicial integrity but also the pressing need for political accountability. Justice Tenyako's choice to step down from presiding over the critical case, particularly following the introduction of amended terrorism charges by Prosecution Counsel Amo Oloson San, speaks vol volumes about the ethnical obligations of those entrusted with the judiciary mantle. It is a sign of honor, yet simultaneously prevails within our political class. Namdekano's expressions of anger and loss of confidence in the judiciary process are justified, reflecting the sentiment of many who have been closely observing those proceedings with great apprehension. Organizing Digbo condemns the persistent silence and inaction of the Southeast governors who have exhibited a, a conspicuous lack of political will to engage President Bola Tinubu on the pressing issues of Namdekanu's release, why the spotlight shines brightly on the wrestling match of in illegalities. It is essential to recognize the multitude of Igbo political prisoners who remain scattered across various correctional facilities, their fates similarly entangled in this complex web of political maneuvering of judiciary processes. It has come to our attention that the current Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Latif, once served as legal counsel for one of the sitting Southeast governors, igniting further reflections on their intricate ties that may serve to constrain vital actions towards justice. The implications of such relationships cannot be overstated, especially towards opting for political solution and justice to Namdi Kano. We record the closed door deliberation held on July 2nd, 2024, which included respected figures such as Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, H. Haru M. Igwe Afraid Achibe, where the Southeast Governors Union mostly pledged to seek a political solution for Namdekanu's release. There are public declarations brimming with prom promise and hope have regrettably found no tangible follow-up as we approach nearly 10 days since that critical meeting. Suspicions abound among the Indigo populace regarding the motivations behind this inaction. The deeply concerning drama of the September 24, 2024, wherein Nandekano voiced feelings of betrayal and disillusionment exemplifies the, the psychological and emotional distress resonating within our community. Is a request for Justice Senyako to rescue herself, a decision that should have been anticipated given to the circumstances reflects a sharp critique of our political leadership, which has seemingly abandoned his collective obligations to advocate for justice. Mazi Okechikwisi Aguzoro, the Secretary General organizing Dibo, voices the organizations categorically appeal to the Southeast governor. It is not merely a matter of political engagement. 
but a question of character and integrity. We beseech them to redeem the pledges made on June on July 2nd, 2024, by initiating a visit to President Tinubu to advocate earnestly for Nandi Kanu's release, a necessary action to restore faith in their leadership and commitment to our people's welfare. The prevailing public sentiment suggests that the Southeast governors may be retreating from, re, re, retreating from their agreement, leading to perceptions that Nandi Kanu has been sacrificed on the altar of political expendency in the lead up to the 2027 elections. For the honor of our region and the principles we stand for, it is essential that they rise to this occasion and present a united front to the federal for the for to the federation government. As we approach the 2024 Igbo Day celebration on September 29. 2024, we call upon all Indigo worldwide to join in Henry's prayers for the malicious, for the miraculous release of Mazinam de Kano. Let us employ our leaders to reflect on their actions and make amends. In closing, organizing Digbo firmly believes that with the right political will and collective action, we can eliminate eliminate the path towards justice and freedom for all those unjustly held. May we found the resolve to uphold the, the dignity and aspiration of the Indigo people. Okay, he said to Nigerians, organizing Indigo has called on, you know, Southeast governors, you know, to be up and doing in asking for Namde Kano's release. You understand? They said, and this is the only way Namde Kanu can be free. They cannot just say, release Mazin Namde Kanu, and you go and sit down. It's not possible. And the government will not release Mazin Namde Kanu if they are not pressing much. So, guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you, and bye for now.